Right, well, are we in search of the waterfalls on Newlands Beck? Why not come with me? Well, good afternoon, and you found me out in the Lake District again. I think I've more or less recovered from my escapade up to Steeple, and I'm out again. That was on, yeah, that was on Friday, and I managed to get the video edited, etc., and up on Sunday, and we're now Tuesday. So I was trying to get out earlier this week, which then gives me longer to um, to process the images and the video so yeah where are we going today well we're going on a lot <laughs> a lot easier and a lot shorter walk and well not a lot shorter but we sh definitely shorter but certainly easier I and mean, the path at the moment is more or less a track and i think that goes for quite a way maybe it's going up slightly uphill but what we're going to be doing is we're going to follow Newlands Beck. And you'd maybe call this Newlands Valley then because it's the Beck. And it's one of those confusing um, places because there is a road and they talk about it being the Newlands Valley that goes up to Newland Hawes and then over to Buttermere. But that's not where, where we're going. We're actually following the Beck and that actually comes off heading south and I've parked at Little Town at the, the farm there where there's an honesty box so we've parked there and we're heading down and at the head of the valley there is a Wainwright a, a fell called um, Dale Head because it's the head of the Dale and it's the Dale from Newlands Beck and there is a tarn, although I don't think we're going to go quite as far as the tarn. But there are, before we get there, where the path, path starts going steeply up, there are quite a few nice waterfalls. So that's the main idea, is to come along and see what images we can get of the waterfalls. The weather is very... Well, it's looking very gloomy. It was supposed to be possible showers and I thought oh it's going to be better but I um, don't know whether you'll see if I turn round it's a lot more gloomy the way I'm going and at the moment there is a bit of damp in the air and it's at what point do I stop and put my waterproofs on so yeah so waterfalls on Newlands Beck that's the name of the video I did a very similar video I was looking at about probably about two and a half years ago um, but it seemed to be I didn't actually watch the video but it seemed to be very very short so hopefully this time we'll see a bit more of the the countryside going around so yeah we'll stop waffling there and we'll see you shortly Right, well we've made it to the waterfalls, a relatively straightforward walk 
Um, I am a little bit against the clock today because um, I need to get home in order to go out and look for, after my grandsons, which probably gives me a maximum of, of two hours before I need to head back to the van. So it's, it's not horrendous, but I, I just need to keep watch of the time. So you can see the, the main fall there. Um, I'm quite high up at the moment and I've just, if I zoom in, I've just captured some images of that high cascade up there and if we look up there, if we go, if we were to go much higher, which I've never done from this route, there is Dalehead Tarn. I have been to the Tarn but I've always come either from the bottom up or off um, and I can't remember what that fell's called down there to the tarn and then up to dale head which is is up there so whether there's any more waterfalls probably not i mean nothing significant this one here is the main one the path i've been following is literally just up about there and i've just dropped down and i think i can see I'll have to make a way across to it. Um, I don't know whether in the, in the middle of the, the f um, frame you can see there's a bit of a tree there. To me that looks as though there's a path there to drop down. So what I am going to do is drop down and get some images of the falls down there. So yeah, I mean I did come straight here I didn't really stop because I wanted to to get here I was aware um, I wasn't totally free time wise but I did capture a couple of handheld images on the way that if they're any good you'll have you'll have seen them mixed in with the b-roll walking down the valley so we'll put this image up that we've taken here and then we'll find a way to get down to capture the main falls etc so we'll see you a little bit later Right, well we've worked our way down a bit from the last images and you can see the camera there and you can see it's, it's actually pointing down and if we follow along we'll see that it's actually pointing at the bottom of the waterfall. So if it was straight it would be pointing at the middle and to get the top you need to be pointed up because uh, what I've got on there is the long lens. So what I've tried, which I've never actually tried before, well I don't know whether I've tried before or not, if I have it's very rare that I've done it, and that is a vertical, rather than horizontal, a vertical panorama of the waterfall. So I'll have to see how that comes out. I must admit it wasn't very easy using a ball head. When you're doing a horizontal one, you get everything level, and then you can just spin, loosen one of the things and the camera will just twist and that and everything stays level. Doing it with a ball head when you come in vertical, basically you've got to loosen the ball head and then carefully lower it down, tighten the ball head and that. So 
it'd be interesting to see if it actually comes out <laughs> Um, if it doesn't come out, it, it doesn't come out, but it, it's worth a try. What partly encouraged me as well, I've, I've joined uh, an online camera club thing and they've got a challenge. And the challenge is to do a, a 6x17 crop, which is a panorama. Now, there's nothing... I don't think in the rules, we'll have to see, that says you can't do it vertical, that it has to be horizontal. So I thought if that comes out, that could might, might make my entry to the challenge. We'll have to see how it comes out, if it comes out and that. So, yeah, and the other thing I've captured, if we zoom in, don't know how well you can see it there, there's like a let's call it a cave I don't know, or a hollow in the rock there that the water's coming in and out of and I thought that made quite nice so I've zoomed right in on uh, more than with this camera and just captured that at various um, handheld uh, various shutter images and I've got in mind that that would be a square crop so hopefully that will come out as, as well um, I don't think I mentioned on the the panorama I was doing long exposures because I thought the blur it would be easier for it stitching together rather than uh, if you actually still uh, still the water so yeah we'll see how they come out whichever's best if any we'll put them up on the um, video after this and then we're just going to have a mooch around and, and wander down a bit and see what else we can come up with whether we'll um, vlog it all I'm not quite sure we'll vlog some of it as we work our way down and then obviously heading back to the van so whatever happens we'll see you a bit later Right, I think we've come up with what is our final composition of the day. I did take some on the way down that I'll, the one, the best ones I'll put up. I did manage to get to the other side of the river, but it was a little bit, I got across with the camera and didn't fancy coming back for the tripod. Um, so I did take some handheld images there, which I think are quite good. Then came back, came down, I've taken some more on the tripod and have worked down to this one here. I have come across, as you can see, I've come across the, the little stream. There's quite a nice plunge pool, which, uh, yeah, in the right conditions would be, be nice. Well, what I've done, um, as we'll see, is try and capture just a bit of the plunge pool, the waterfall, and you can see the water coming down higher up. I mean, I don't know whether if I zoom in. 
you'll see that's the sort of top of that bit and there's a cascade coming down so yeah hopefully it'll look quite good so yeah it's going well so far I'm very pleased so yeah we'll we'll put this one up to say this will be the last one of the day because as I say time runs by when you're enjoying yourself it's the sort of place you could spend all day if you've got the time if if I'd got here early which would have meant I was working this morning and it took a little bit longer so it was I mean it was about 12 o'clock before I actually got home to then get sorted and come out and as I say I need to get back home to be able to organize some tea before going to look after grandsons for the evening so yeah, well, as I say, we'll put this up and all the other ones that I've taken on the way down and we'll see you a little bit later. Right, we're back on the main track back to little town now and I'm one happy bunny yeah no it's been good just a shame there wasn't longer time but um, life is such at times with needing to do some work this morning and looking after grandchildren but yeah I'd, uh, one thing I had forgotten was how many actual cascades waterfalls there are there must be at least oh one two three oh half a do half a dozen plus or even more getting on for a dozen different ones so I only actually captured the images of some of them but yeah now I'm um, very pleased with today's outing and um, I am hoping that that horizontal panorama will come out that will be brilliant I mean you'll know because if it's come out you will have seen it it and the only problem I have with vertical images is sometimes it, it's difficult particularly in social media and in other things to, to actually show them well so um, yeah quite often if I do a, a portrait um, composition I change it alter it down to still portrait but um, instead of uh, three um, four by six I may make it four by five uh, I just find it, it, it but but the waterfall was such that it was very narrow and very long so yeah hopefully it'll have come out so yeah tell me what you think whether what you think about portrait the landscape and, and and such like i'll be interested to hear yeah which reminds me please comment all comments are much appreciated whatever they are whether they're just a thing saying you've enjoyed it whether it's why didn't you do this or i'm glad you did that or whatever they're all greatly appreciated and i do try to incorporate suggestions comments into future videos and yeah if you've enjoyed this one if you haven't already please click the thumbs up and if you like what I'm doing please subscribe and I'd like to thank all recent subscribers we seem to have had a bit of a, a boost over the last month or so so that's good we're growing so we're heading towards uh, my next target which was 750 and when I left home I don't know what it is now because we're totally out of signal 
when I left home we were on 733 so that's uh, 17 to go so yeah so that would be great to get 750 followers and the, uh, the other aim I've got and then getting there getting very close is to cross the annual barrier of 3,000 hours of watching I mean the current uh, the current um, level of watching is such that that will round about that mark but obviously historically it's a little lower so at the moment if we look back at what it was in the last year we're up to about what um, uh, getting on for 2700 so we're getting there and then hopefully that'll cross that mark which will then mean various things uh, within YouTube and then the next target will be the thousand followers and 4,000 hours which would be great because then it could um, it's possible to monetize it then I have to debate whether on to do that and what the impact on the videos are but but yeah yeah if you do if as I say th thank you for all people who have recently subscribed and if you haven't why not subscribe it does help the channel doesn't mean to say you have to watch every single video and you don't have to put the notification on I'm subscribed to various um, channels that I'm just subscribed to I can go and find them and they, they come up on YouTube of on the, subs, oh, the subscribe tab but they're not all I don't get notification and for some of them I do the more the ones I regard as more important so yeah and what I'm rambling a bit but what's next we're now Tuesday I'm hoping to get this all sorted and be uploaded before sat by Saturday afternoon because I have uh, my monthly meeting in, in the northeast on Saturday evening I wasn't gonna go and try and, and go somewhere and get get lots of images etc but uh, it would be useful to upload it and then I was thinking of having a the whole of Sunday to do something not quite sure what we'll have to wait and see whether it be a biggish walk or go somewhere where there's lots to see and have time to to go around and collect images etc so yeah I've probably um, rambled quite a bit there so yeah we better stop there and say we'll see you on the next video